Hey guys, and welcome back to the opening days of Mario Kart 8. We've played through the new tracks, now we're going to play through the retro ones, and uh, this was um, a tradition, if you will, that started in Mario Kart DS, where they'd bring back tracks from older games, and, you know, kind of rejig and remake them to fit the mechanics of, you know, the current game. And uh, I would say the previous game, 7, had probably the best selection of retro tracks in the series, but... There's a quite a decent collection of them here. Uh, l let's stop me rambling and actually get on with them. Now, obviously, I'm biased and uh, think Seven is the best, which is ironic, since I think that game's pretty bland overall. But Ryan, what do you think of uh, the retro tracks uh, in uh, Mario Kart Eight? Uh, I think the retro tracks in Mario Kart Eight are generally pretty good, mostly because I'm an N64 fanboy. So <laughs> yeah. For my part, I guess I just haven't played enough Mario Kart to really appreciate a lot of the retro tracks. Like, when they do a Mario 64 one, I get a bit nostalgic, but... <laughs> yeah, you're all over that shit. <laughs> now, uh, this first one here is one of my favorites, hands down. I loved Moo Moo Meadows in the Wii version. This one just takes that and, like, cranks it up to 11, really. It looks much better with its sunset aesthetic, and uh, the music's much better as well. I do remember this track. I'm not particularly fond of this track. <laughs> you just hate everything I love, don't you, Ryan? Well, I'm not saying I hate the chorus, I'm just saying it's... Well, if you don't agree with me, obviously you must disagree with me. Only a Sith deals in absolutes, Tom. <laughs> well, that statement in and of itself is kind of ironic. Yeah, that's the joke. <laughs> uh, I do remember liking this track when I played it. I just couldn't call it immediately to mind when I was thinking of the game. Oddly enough. Well, again, I grew up with the N64, so I more think of Moo Moo Farms than this one, but... Oh, yeah! You know, ever since this track came along, Moo Moo Farms has just been completely put out of my mind. We're probably not going to be seeing a lot of the antigravs in these levels, though, unfortunately. Nope. Just good old-fashioned driving on roads. The retro tracks as a whole are, like, easy, because obviously they come from lesser systems with lesser, you know, course designs, but uh, they've added stuff here and there. Some of them are, like, completely new courses, which is pretty gratifying. Oh, what, they just changed the layout and kept the themes? Uh, pretty much, yeah. Hmm. Uh, how, many of the, how many of those kind of tracks are there? Uh, one that immediately springs to mind is uh, the Cheap Cheap level from, uh, I, I, I think it's in this cup? Um, I think so. We'll, we'll see soon enough. But, um, yeah, they changed that light so much, you, just, you could basically call it a new truck. Try not to hit the cows. <laughs> I'm trying, man, I'm trying. Weirdest stage obstacle ever. Of course, they don't get hurt when you hit them. <laughs> As I say, if the cows didn't want to get hurt, maybe they shouldn't walk in the middle of the road. Well, th they didn't know there was, like, a tournament scheduled for today. Very, very slowly walking across the road. Yeah, fuck you, Toad, and your bullet bell shenanigans. Oh, it was Iggy. Never mind. Sorry, Toad. Didn't mean to confuse you with uh, one of the zanier Cooperlings. Where is Toad? Toad's not even in this. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I embarrassed him so much he dropped out of the tournament. Okay, moving on. Love that track. I could probably play that, like, eternally if uh, it came online. Next up is Mario Circuit, and it's breaking away from the planet, apparently. <laughs> I have to go now. My other karting game needs me. Yeah, from the Game Boy Advance, aka the worst Mario Kart. Yeah, Super Circuit. Hmm, so this one's been changed up a little to better fit the game itself, apparently. Just a tiny bit. I don't know how to feel about this really, really obvious anti-grav section. Like, they couldn't really think of anywhere else to uh, put the anti-grav bit. They just took half the track and tilted it upward. <laughs> yeah, it, it told you, it doesn't change anything about the track, so... It's it's just a... It, it, it's, it's, a it's a change, but it's still the same layout. <laughs> you just have to jump at something that's a bit slanted. It's a very cozy kind of track. Again, I would probably live here if uh, the option was available. Mario Circuit is like the NASCAR track of the of the Mario Kart universe. It just goes. No, this has a this has a right turn. <laughs> <laughs> well, some NASCAR tracks do. You're, I think you're thinking of Formula One, but eh, 
I, I remember playing uh, NASCAR games uh, back in the day, and yeah, there were there were the ovals, but there were also the ovals with turns in them, and the ovals with more turns in them. <laughs> yeah, those were the expert trucks. And I just kind of grow whenever I see a Game Boy Advance or our Super Nintendo track have been brought back, because those tend to be the most boring to look at and play. Mm, well, they're like the best for like a straightforward race, but kind of lacking on gimmicks, and that's kind of what Mario Kart is, really. If, if, if you want a very, very basic beginner's track to get the hang of your car, this is probably a good one to pick. But there's not much to say about it. They probably didn't choose this as, like, the starting track of this cup, just because of all the turns and whatnot. It does have some fairly tight drifting for a beginner track. Okay, that was a pretty good run. Also very short, thankfully. Ooh, I have two rivals now, Mario, obviously, and Iggy. Is that the uh, shortest track in the game? Looks like it could be. Well, there's one way you go like two meters and be done. What? <laughs> yeah, the, the super the Super Nintendo tracks the shortest. I'm kidding, Lewis. <laughs> okay, this is why I was talking about cheap, cheap beach. They have they haven't brought back Baby Park yet <laughs> from the GameCube. You haven't lived until you've played a game of Baby Park with all items on frantic. It is amazing. Seeing a lot of sunshine in this track, in a good way. What the game or just the game, not the <laughs> sun. <laughs> the type of weather. <laughs> Yeah, Sunshine was my first Mario game, my first 3D Mario game. Not counting like 15 minutes a day of Mario 3 when I was in school. And so I have an attachment to the game even though parts of it piss me the hell off. So when games bring back stuff from Sunshine like the uh, Beach Bum fuckers in Galaxy 2, I, I tend to smile a little. Well, Beach Ball is a gorgeous looking uh, stage in Galaxy. That entire level is one giant apology for how Yoshi was in Sunshine. <laughs> although, although, and I think we just passed crab meat, uh, going through a beach area like that at that speed makes me think of Sonic Adventure 1 more than anything. Fair enough, mate, fair enough. Shit, mud. Fuck you, Iggy. And those are technically the crabs from uh, the Mario Brothers arcade game. I forgot mud was a thing in some kart racers. Go behind me, I dare you. Yeah, I get Sonic vibes from this side and the other side where it where it gets more uh towny and stuff. It just uh it looks it looks almost like a completely different stage, which is good. Uh I, I like state I like variety within stages where the whole thing doesn't just look like it did five minutes ago. Yeah. Well I'm not doing too good on this one. third place the shame gotta speed up it's only a bronze <laughs> yeah fuck you daisy damn he blocked that perfectly motorcycle with a pink umbrella <laughs> I want to see one of these in the real world okay keep it going Tom keep it going I've kind of squandered my lead now Red shell, red shell, red shell. Oops. Fifth place. <laughs> yes! Oh. Go! Drive my motorcycle, drive. Ah, oh, you son of a bitch! <laughs> yep, that's how Mario Kart goes sometimes. And uh, that the end of the win streak? Yep. yep. That's a shame. Oh well. Kind of an awkward place to lose it, but oh well. Thanks, Lewis. Appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was expecting Rainbow Road. <laughs> well, you're not you're not gonna find Rainbow Road in the first cut, mate. I know. I was expecting you to last until Rainbow Road. You know what we need since they do retro cups? Rainbow Cup. All all well, four stages are brought back. Ret Rainbow Road stages. Yeah. <laughs> well, there's like what eight Rainbow Roads now. Well, that would be not that would be interesting, but at the same time, it would kind of be, be visually boring. I don't think I could sit through that that cup many times. Well, they could can like combine like two um, things together, so you'd have four races overall. Th 
they really changed this one for Mario Kart. Yeah, they have wall riding sections now. Well, in, in in terms of how it looks, yes. In terms of how the course generally is, not particularly. They have wall driving sections now. I like all the advertisements on the the cars and buses going by, like Galaxy Air and whatnot. That's funny because in the original version of '64, they were like for Marlboro and shit. <laughs> yeah. And they had to be edited for the U.S. and U.K. versions. Nice. Why are you advertising cigarettes? Just seems wrong to me. Well, you know, you're playing a bit of Mario Kart, you need a bit of a buzz, boom, marbler. Yeah. It's just not something that connects in my brain. It would be like, uh. Um. I'm trying to think of something equally jarring. That gone? The next gen Bomberman. <laughs> <laughs> Mario Kart Zero. Why does that car have a giant skateboard on it? It's like... It's a, it's it's a surfboard. A, a, a giant surfboard, whatever. Giant board that can be used as a ramp. Oh, it's for this. Let me show you. Sha sha. I know what it's for. Just why, is it, why do you have that on the back of your car? <laughs> to speed up, Lewis. That's why. My question is, how the hell did anyone get on this highway? There's no on or off exits anywhere. Are we in purgatory right now? <laughs> I want to make a Doctor Who reference, but I don't think... Uh, I'm not sure if either of you would get it. <laughs> oh, I'd definitely get it. You're talking to the British person. Just because we're British doesn't mean we all watch Doctor Who, alright? Just saying. <laughs> Only 9 out of 10 of you. <laughs> yeah, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, there was a there was a, an episode in, uh, I think, Season 2 of the new series where there was, a, there was an underground highway that had no exits. It was just running in loops over and oh, over yeah. for years and years. That was a disturbing episode, actually. It was kind of an eh episode as well. Well, the entire thing took place inside of a couple cars, so... Right, yeah. <laughs> it got a bit boring. I'm really disappointed about that run on the third track, but I uh, well, can't win them all, I guess. It's Mario Kart. <laughs> I'm skipping that, I don't even care. <laughs> kind of salty, no? I see you fail at the third track. <laughs> one star? I didn't do that badly! Oh, man. Yeah, w one star is getting 54 or 55 points. You know, it might actually be harder to get a two star than a three star in this game. <laughs> Quite possibly. <laughs>